Hello people from space, welcome back to my channel. My name is Forever Turpus. And as you can tell from the title in this video, today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you a smoky golden rose type of eyeshadow look that I like to do with this. So it has a little bit of black, a little bit of rose gold, and a little bit of golden type of shimmer in the middle. I really like it and I used my Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette to do the whole eyeshadow look. So I hope you guys like it. I know I've been gone for so long. It's just, I, man, I haven't found time to like really work with my schedule or everything. I was working for like seven days at a time. So now hopefully I can start throwing out more videos out there and show you guys easy tutorials that I like to do that still look really nice and elegant. And this is Morg. He's a cutie. Give, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Check out my other tutorials and my other funny videos. If you want to have a laugh or if you kind of like the way that I do my makeup. Like I, I always say, it's a messy style, but you don't have to be a professional to get these results. So they work really easily with everybody. And I have a thing for smoky eyes, so I'll be throwing out a lot of videos on different kinds of smoky eyes that I like to do. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you after the tutorial. First of all, I want to say that I'm breaking out like a motherfucker. So I'm wearing my flower crown to distract you guys from the ugly that I have. And it kind of makes me feel like I'm the fat, less talented version of Lana Del Rey. So, great for a video, right? I'm going to be using my... Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. I got it for Christmas. I also burnt my fingers earlier today. I broiled them, so what else can I do today to fuck up? So if you guys don't know what the Beauty Killer palette looks like, this is what it looks like. It's really shiny. The shades on this palette look like this. I'm gonna be using Black Rainbow, Confession, Courtney, for the transition color. The first thing that you're gonna do, like always, is you're gonna prime your skin and you're gonna prime your eyelids and try to use a little bit of concealer to cover up all of your dark spots. And I'm just using any kind of primer right now. I'm using the, ugh, that's watery. I'm using the Hard Candy Primer, just in a little container like this, and I'm putting it all over my eyelids. can do is you're going to go through and conceal all of your breakouts or pimples or anything like that that you have that you want to cover up. Yeah, this does not have any coverage at all. So once you got all of that covered or semi-cat covered, thanks hard candy, we're going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadow. I like to use my eyeshadow before I use my foundation just because it helps it be easier to wipe off and it to clean. You're gonna start by using a little pack of brush, kind of like that, and you're gonna go in with the color Courtney, which is this color right here, and you're gonna start by putting it all over your lid. Jeffree Star is bomb at his eyeshadows too. Like I'm not disappointed with any kind of product he's ever had. And you're gonna blend it all out. Sorry, I forgot to say that. After you're done with that, do the other side. So that's just gonna give you like a nice nude base. You're gonna take a little bit of the color Confessions using another brush that kind of looks the same as your blending brush. You're just gonna use another brush. You're gonna put it all over your eyelid. Just on like the center part though. And then again, with your blending brush, blend it all out. The 
is what that should look like, but I have a lot of fallout right now. And if you guys hear any rattling in the background, it's my rat Morg. He's a fat ass, so he's like chewing on a wooden block right now, and it's kind of loud, so hopefully you guys can't hear it. After you do the top part of your eyes, you're going to get a flat brush, and you're going to go in with the same color, and you're going to put it underneath your eyes. Give yourself some black eyes. It should look like you just got decked in the face. I got powder in my eye. Lord save me now. See, you should look like someone farted in your pillow and you got pink eye. If you don't want to spend however much dollars on the Jeffree Star palette, just have somebody like your boyfriend or somebody fart on your pillow and you should get the same result. Don't do that. And then you're gonna get a smaller brush and you're gonna go in in the color Black Rainbow, which is this one. It's kind of like a really shimmery black. I'm in love with this color. But you're gonna go, go in there and then you're gonna put it on the corner of the eyelid. And then again, with your blending brush, blend them all together. It might take you a little bit more blending time since it is such a harsh black color and it has a lot of pigment so it'll take you a little bit longer to blend it out. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit more of that same color. I'm going to put it over what I just did. help really pack on that pigment again and really give you that nice definition in your eye. And since I want it to go all over, I'm just going to blend it all throughout. You know, hold that thought. Everybody says that my videos are like really weird because of like my facial expressions and how how like I stop and I do shit. But that's how I am in real life. Like I'm very weird. So it's I don't see it as a bad thing. God fuck, just fucking blend already. I feel like my hand is like crippled because I really I can never get like these two eyes to look the same. I don't know how like the beauty gurus do it. Yeah! You know, my face doesn't look so beat actually. It kind of, it's kind of coming together. I feel like this side is darker, so I'm just gonna re add a little bit more to this side. I'd say that looks pretty okay. Okay, so next we're gonna take a little bit more of the rainbow, the black rainbow, and we're gonna put it underneath our eyes. You don't want too much pigment though, so just kind of very lightly put it in blend it out and it's funny because I said not too much pigment but then I go in there and I like jab it in there yeah that looks, that looks pretty okay next on the Jeffree Star palette where you're gonna be using is you're gonna be taking a little bit of the rich bitch in the color this really nice goldeny color as you can see it's it's really gold and pigmented. You can't really see that very well, but it is. And you're gonna be, you're gonna take it on your finger and you're gonna put it in the corner of your eyes. That's gonna give you a nice pop of color. I think I'm using too much product because I'm getting like a lot of fallout. That's pretty much it for the 
Beauty Killer palette. And the next palette that I'm going to be using today is I'm going to be using the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. I am a huge bunny fan, so having this palette is super amazing for me. The only color that we're going to be using is Gator Wings. It's this really pretty, shimmery type of color. I'm going to be using it for highlight. But before you get into your highlight and your contour, you have to do your foundation. I have a lot of fallout, so I'm going to go get a little towel real quick and just wipe everything off. Also, I don't know if you guys like this format better, or if you guys like the format to where I have it like super zoomed in on my eye and you can see like the details of everything going on, or if you like this format a little bit better. Whatever, you're going to get your primer. That's eyelash glue, so almost made a fatal mistake there. You're gonna get your primer and you're gonna just prime your face. This primer looks like fish poop, like, well, I don't think you can see like, whatever it comes out, it looks like fish poop. Random thoughts that Karen thinks. This might as well be like a diss video to the hard candy primer because, girl, not satisfied. I can't find my Urban Decay primer though. It makes me really upsetty spaghetti. But whatever, go ahead and get your foundation. I'm just using the True Match foundation by L'Oreal. I'm almost out of it, so I have to really beat the shit out of it to get some out. The coverage in this foundation is pretty okay. I don't tend to wear a lot of foundation unless I'm doing like really drastic makeup. So I feel like this foundation is perfect for me because it's not so heavy and it doesn't give me more breakouts than I have already, you know? One day I'll get you out of here. Make sure you put it on your neck. This uh, lighting really washes out my makeup. It matches really well most of the time, but I feel like this lighting is not doing it for me. And make sure you always blend it into your earlobes. My earlobes are pretty big now since I got my gauges, so just make sure you rub them on in your ears. I always like to go behind my ears too just so I know that. It's not going to have that mask effect anywhere. So while I'm letting my foundation sink into my face and dry, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. I use the regular NYX eyeliner and I'm going to give myself a cat eye, a little spike, I think that's what they call it down here. So let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to make a really dramatic cat eye. If it focuses, hopefully it stays in focus. And I do the wing first just because it's easier for me. I feel to be more precise with the wing. And then you're going to work on the little corner part. With the corner part, I just kind of drag it inwards. I'm trying to find like a good position. And you're going to fill the inner corner part out. It's okay for now, you can just let it dry. I can never get these even, so Jesus take the wheel and wish me luck. What do you think? They come out kind of even? Probably not. It's okay. I'm going to be working on the inner corner again. And it's really not going to come out even. So far, what you should be left with if you've been following what I've been saying should look like that. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use my e.l.f. gel cream eyeliner and I'm going to fill in the little intersections. Focus. 
on my eyes. Damn it. So the next thing, using the same cream eyeliner, the same brush, which is an angled brush, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Sometimes I come out with like really bitch brows, other days I come out with like really skinny chola brows, and other days I come out with like wooden blocks upon my face, so I don't know what kind of day it's going to be today. Hopefully you have eyebrows and it's not as hard as it is for me. Eyebrows on, looking good. Your face is starting to come together. Eyebrows looking good. And your foundation should be set and done by now. I think it's contour. I like to bake my things. I get a little bit of the translucent pattern and just put it under my eyes. And on the bridge of my eyes. And I let a few minutes pass like that. Now for the highlighting. I'm using the... This one. And this should be your finished look. After that, I'm just going to put a little bit of the Kat Von D lipstick in Damned. So after you've gotten your, your lipstick on, all you need is a pair of big ass lashes to put on your eyes so you can fly away from all your problems. So, let's go ahead and do that. Have you, have you guys ever seen, <laughs> he doesn't want to be seen. Have you ever seen a rat eat a Cheerio? It's not a Cheerio, but it's like a uh, fruit troop snack for rats. You only love me because I feed you. This might look really bad because I use Dollar Tree glue, but whatever. Don't forget to coat those bitches on with mascara. Make them thicker than what they already are. I'm not gonna give you any more. You've already had enough. You've already had like six pieces. But that's what the eyelashes should make it look like. Well, I was gonna zoom in, but more decided to get closer to the camera. And you're done. So this is pretty much the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. It's a very shimmery gold, but still dark, like a gold rose color. I really like it. I used it during New Year's. So I was just kind of experimenting with my Jeffree Star palette, and I realized that I really liked it because it's really bright enough to bring out your eye color, but it's also dark enough to still be able to be considered um, witchy and alternative. So definitely really, really like that. You know, you could always... Uh, add more to the eyeliner, take away less to the eyeliner, kind of modify it to be you. Sometimes I like to add like the little dots right here. Those are super cute to add and they look really good. You can even add like the little moon that some people add or like the nose, the two nose stripes or something. Hey, wanna give me kisses? 
What is my breath stink or something? <laughs> We've had him for almost a year now. And he loves giving kisses. And he loves to be spoiled and cuddled. And he is super chill. He just kind of lays on my shoulder. It doesn't really go anywhere. So thumbs up this video if you guys liked it. If you guys have any more um, video ideas that you'd like me to do or like me to talk about or show you, go ahead and send them to my Instagram, my Facebook, or any kind of social media that you might have me on, including Gothic Amino and all that stuff. And me and Morg will see you guys next time. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.